Is the lighting any better? No. It's a work in progress. I'm sorry in advance. Hey friends. So, who's up for a Q&A? Yeah, that's what we're doing. This started from a live stream, so you can thank all of those peeps that joined me for one of the past two ones I've done. Anyway, it's been a long time since I did a proper Q&A, other than live streams and things of the sort. So, who's ready? I'm much different than, like, prepubescent me. I'll insert a wonderful clip for you. Did you mention they were trans or do you want to tell them? Wait, did I not mention that? I don't think so. Wow, I, d I went through that whole thing without mentioning I'm trans. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, now that you've seen that, I'm sure all your questions are answered. Just kidding. But, special thank you to Suzanne, who helped me write down quite a few of the questions in the live stream. So I'm gonna read those and then I'll read some of the ones that you asked on my comic. Here we go. <laughs> Jammy asks, is the earth flat? Wow, what a great start. One time, Facebook recommended me to join the Flat Earthers group because for some reason it just... Anyway, I stalked the Flat Earthers group, which is very interesting why they would have their entire private group be public to show everyone who is in that group and all of the weird shit that they thought. And let me tell you, that was interesting. <laughs> I mean, I get conspiracy theories and everything like that, and I, there's... People will believe what they want, but that doesn't mean they're correct. And going to great lengths and refusing the very first thing you learn when you are a child, which is gravity. How many times have you fallen off of something? <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> There's reasons and replicable things. Anyway, that question was not meant to be serious, but I felt like I would be burned at the stake like the witch I am if it wasn't answered. And Suzanne asked, can you draw a fusion of Casey and Tyler? I usually don't take requests. But maybe someday. Emily asks, when did you start drawing? I don't remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was like a small child. I have like old sketchbooks. If I take a picture of one, I will show, I'll, I'll put it right here. But anyway, if you're asking when I started officially drawing like better, that's, well not better, but you know, like trying harder <laughs> than I was probably like 10 or 11. It was when I was reading Full Metal Alchemist. A confused starfish asks, how does one draw? Now that is a philosophical question. And how do you find the motivation? Well, it has to be something you're passionate about so if you want to draw something, draw something that you prefer to draw and not something that you... There is a hair. Oh my god, it's like a dog hair and it's stuck in my eye. If you want to draw something and you're lacking the motivation, draw what you want to draw and not what you think other people want you to draw and then you'll be happier, you'll practice more, and therefore become a better artist quicker. Wait, that's not a word. Faster. I'm a train wreck. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't film videos for three weeks, everyone. If you are a YouTuber, do not, do not do that. <laughs> Wolf Draws asks, what is your favorite color? It's red. Everyone thinks it's black. I wonder why. <laughs> Emma asks, are you a BTS fan? And now on to Webtoon. Question number one from Webtoons. Doc MNC says, The question I really want to know the answer to, why is he up at three in the morning? That was 12 in the morning for me, but as I was just saying on my last live stream, apparently a whole giant number of you are all from three hours ahead of my time zone. 
I don't know. I guess I just accidentally wake you up every Wednesday and Saturday at 12 a.m. my time and 3 a.m. your time. Most likely, if you are a reader of my comic, so for that, I apologize. That's kind of bad. <laughs> Mystic Melody says, Okay, first I love being called a we weird internet child, and I will now forever put that everywhere. That is what I'm- I think that is a good name for you all. I just naturally started calling you- I don't even know when it started, but that was just my name for you. You! In my head. <laughs> and now, it just became a thing. Should it be a thing? Tell me what you think in the comments below. But anyways, Mystic Melody continues, says, Here's a question I've wondered for a while. When's your birthday? <laughs> it's August 20th. Now you know. Anime is my life, says, What is your favorite part of drawing this webtoon? Also, what advice would you give to a beginning artist? Well, I already somewhat answered that from a confused starfish. That, that was a weird question. That was a weird statement, but you you know what I mean. <laughs> it was in a question earlier with the username. Not a confused starf. Okay, you get it. But my favorite part of drawing this webtoon would probably be, I guess it changed recently because in the past it was like coloring and shading and then making it all nice. But since I don't have time for that and I've decided to literally just sketch and go, <laughs> which is a relief, let me tell you. But it's now just become like satisfying at the end of each page because I get to read it faster and now you all get to read it faster. And so by the time I draw it and put it out, it hasn't been that long since I've drawn it. It's much more gratifying and I think that's my favorite part because I like the response. I'm just naturally a performing arts type of person and that's why I got hooked on comics, I guess. I just like seeing what people say about them. But still, any extra advice I'd give to a beginning artist other than what I said? I think the beginning is the hardest, and it's very similar to when you're creating a very big piece of art, or like an important one, not just like large, but like an important one. If it's like detailed and you're drawing it or painting it, I think this is especially something to do with painting, it's always like two-thirds of the way through where things look terrible and that always goes with like every time you're learning something new in artwork but every single time without fail if I just ignore how much I hate something <laughs> that I'm drawing or how much I think that I suck and just keep pushing through it I always get better and it always turns out to be so much better so always push past two-thirds of the way through and that includes like any knowledge you're learning about art, like let's say you're studying color theory, about two-thirds of the way through it's gonna like, your brain isn't gonna understand things as well all of a sudden. It's like you've gotta push through the storm to get to the other side where there's always a rainbow. A gay one. Or is that just me? <laughs> <laughs> Matilda says, can you send me some food? I live in Oakland, California. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've forgotten how to make and eat most foods. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> Good luck with that though. Waves656 says, I love this story so much. How did you come up with this concept and the backstories for each character? Each character was magically birthed out of my <laughs> brain. I was gonna- I censored myself there. I was gonna say something worse. But anyway, um, <laughs> I think it depends. Originally, I just had Tyler in mind. That's how this whole story started. Like how I've said when it just downloaded in my brain, I was thinking of Tyler as the main character. Um, other characters were just random, kind of, at first. But then I like to give characters like some sort of perspective, either it'll be off of a personality point like Casey was. His personality point is that he seems super goofy, but he's actually very intelligent and serious, but people don't take him seriously because 
I guess that's an aspect of myself. A lot of people think I'm Tyler, but anyway. But I wouldn't say I use myself as inspiration. I just thought like I could relate to him on that part. And from there, I created the rest of him, including his backstory. But the other characters, it was more like I'd have vague ideas and then as I go, I'll try and fill them out in that same way. Sometimes this sounds weird, but I write novels too. And I'll play The Sims and make a character in The Sims and then it turns out that like the game will either give me more ideas or I'll be like, no, I didn't like that, that character wouldn't do that. And then it would answer questions I had about characters. But for backstories, everything matters. So by the time this comic finishes, you'll be able to go back to the very beginning and see everything tied in. <laughs> Because that's my favorite type of story. Wolf Girl says, I am a weird internet child, but how does that give me the power to get this question answered? Because you answered my question by asking a question about me answering your question. By saying that you're my weird internet child, so that's two votes, people. <laughs> Two votes for that. <laughs> is this your official name? I still do not know. This is just what I call you in my head. I think this is pronounced Mer... Is it Mercades or is it Mercedes? The world may never know. What's your favorite animal? Do you have any pets? If so, what pets do you have? Originally, my favorite animal was a wolf and I also like jaguars a lot. That's just how I've always been, but I have three dogs right now. I have an old lady dog and two crazy dogs. If you watch any of my other videos, you will see them sometimes. They make usually an unwanted appearance. <laughs> but I love them, poor It's okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Lily Bird said, I am weird internet child. And Fairy and Yokai said, aren't we all? Exactly. You all are weird in a good way. I like weird people. That is why. I've affectionately called you all weird. Oh my gosh, I get, okay, more people than I realized have answered my question. Hey, effectively, I've gotten a question answered when I'm supposed to be answering your questions. What type of mind f is this? Jillian Steven says, yes, we are weird internet children. Oh my God, thanks, friendo. I love you all too. Okay, Queer King says, what, why did you start to, okay. Let's start over. <laughs> I like your name, Queer Kings. Why did you decide to start What Sexual? What inspired you? Also, I love you so much. Thanks for creating this comment. Thanks for helping me. I love you too. I started What Sexual. I know I've been saying this whole time that it did download in my brain, which is still true. But once I thought about it, I've always wanted to do stories that represent people who are overlooked or degraded in some way and like to where society tries to basically undermine their humanity, their sense of humanity and everything I create always has to do with that. My first comic had to do with that because it had to do with the medical system and like weird stuff. Like I made up a conspiracy theory basically that's half based on things that I've thought about before and experienced. But anyway, that had to do with like chronic illness and so it was in kind of an easy gateway for me because at the same time I was questioning my gender and I wanted this character to be able to express that because I think a lot of people these days are questioning things about themselves now that we're not all trapped into the same box that we've been trapped into for, for like 50 years or more I mean I know from studying stuff from one of my novels and like Puritan era that was a thing and it's been a thing in some other countries but at the same time this idea of just like a weird binary box that everyone's fit into like you're only allowed to like these things it's just it hasn't been around for that long in the whole history of like humans so it really has gone against our human na nature and I really wanted to express like that confusion when you first start to think about it like is there something wrong with me or is this kind of true about me so that's where it started <laughs> I hope this isn't long if this goes over like 10 minutes I'm gonna split it into two so look forward to part two in like three or four more days I will see you then <laughs> bye okay Mia 2 cutie 
3013. <laughs> I don't think that's how it's supposed to be read, but that's how I read it. It says, how come people make fun of people who are different? I love this question. I always talk about this like literally all the time. <laughs> so basically, 